Today we're continuing our industrial area and I think it's time for the train station. So first things first, I want to sort of get rid of the terrain and just use this part that I put under here. I think that is the better way to do things and I'll show you why in just a second. So let's go ahead and erode this terrain because we just want to have this part on the ground instead of uh, all this. We could delete our train word because now we know what we're doing with this area and this we're gonna change to a material variant right here, dusty ground gravel. And look at this, boom, it looks pretty cool. Now, tiling, well, hey, it is what it is. We may adjust that a little bit, but for now we can keep it and we could paint some other ground on top. But I think we'll wait to paint any ground or anything until after we make the track itself, and then we can see how to fill in this smaller area. So for the track, let's go ahead and bring in a part. We'll put it like this, I guess. One more, and put that one like this. Probably a little smaller. Put it way over here. Now let's duplicate it one more time. Probably about this much of a gap, I guess. I think that'll work. Let's group these together. Change their color to probably something along here and then make them a metal. Ooh, maybe this. Not horrible, but I think we could do better. Let's run it with this one for now. Now what we're gonna do is duplicate this part right here, scale it in, drag it down one, bring it out to this side. We're gonna change this to a brown and change the material variant to some sort of wood. That kinda works, I guess. And now I just wanna test something with the Archimedes plugin. Will this this be a-okay for us let's see render 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 yeah that should work so now all we got to do is place this first one all the way back here i know kind of sad and now we just render a whole bunch of these we'll have to do some negative so let's do negative five to come back out this way and then we'll go back on the positive side of things start rendering those there we go yeah i think that actually looks pretty good a nice bendy train track and then the end we'll need to do some sort of a barrier so i'm gonna just take this off duplicate this rotate it Control l to switch our axes and we're just gonna put a block on here something like that and i think we'll take one of these as well just for the end then make it a little bit bigger something like this and maybe yellowish yeah i think that's a little too bright but uh you yeah, know we'll put it like that for now so now we have our train track and we need to go ahead and erode this right here as well and then we'll start building some stuff up i'm not exactly sure what all i want over here just yet all right we added a little tunnel from our models and now i think we could rotate Rotate this a little bit more something about here and then all of these could be deleted because they're not going to be visible anyways there we go and then i want to add some terrain around this so it looks like it's coming out of the mountain a lot nicer but i'm not exactly the best with terrain so we're gonna just click on grow plane lock off and hope for the best i mean just that and then if we use our smooth tool we could come in here smooth and all this i don't think that looks that bad the terrain artist will probably fix it up a little bit but for now i think that looks pretty good one thing we could definitely add over here would be some of these so i'm gonna put one sort of right here and one over here we're gonna give those a little bit of a rotation just because and of course i'm gonna have to make an actual train as well which i'm not excited about so first let's do our terrain and then the the you know the train can be the last thing we kind of work on uh i do want to row just random kind of rock things over here just so it seems a bit more i don't i don't even really know how to explain it a bit more used we could do some ground yeah i don't think that's too bad definitely gives it a cooler vibe here i think the train will definitely help a lot as well all right guys uh the train um it's there it is <laughs> Okay, guys, th this is a joke. I'll definitely actually make a train, but I thought this would be funny. And maybe if we ever have a completed train track that goes through the map, it'll be cool to have this kind of a train come out every once in a while, just to kind of troll the players a little bit. Now, our game is based in Chicago, so looking up the Chicago train that, uh, you know, people could take wherever they're trying to go, it looks like this. And honestly, it's just a rectangle with a curved top and some windows, doors, and lights. I'm gonna try to find a good image of it, and then we can really get to work. 
All right, after mentally putting off making this train for as long as I possibly can, here we are. So, first things first, S and X. I think around here, let's try this first, would be a good shape. Now, we're going to do two loop cuts and drag the top lines up a little bit to give it that rounded top look. Just like this. It's not super rounded, so I think that'll work. And then shade smooth, auto smooth. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Now, I do believe that each side has a very small small bumper so we are gonna do that as well on each end alt e extrude along face normals very small and then we're gonna grab the center one and bow that out a little bit with s and x all right up next let's add all of the lights uh this would be the top lights the uh the side lights all the lights in the entire thing we're gonna add those right now so to start things off mesh cylinder 10 sides of course some of you guys might be like bro that's not smooth at all well boy do i have some Something for you and now you might be like bro that is still ugly all you have to do guys right here put this up to like 40 beautiful it's perfection i know so with this let's go ahead and it looks like we have two small lights sort of down here on both sides let's put those like this duplicate them and put them on this side in fact i should probably just mirror this i'd be dumb not to i think let's do that wireframe face select and we're just gonna delete this whole half X faces. Let's join all of this. There we go. And before we forget, let's delete the inner faces here. That's just a little optimizing tip. The train. All right. So we've got something like this. Let's inset both of those and then extrude them in just a bit. There we go. And now I'm pretty sure it's the same kind of thing for the top, except they would be smaller. So we're going to grab these, put them up top, scale them down and it looks like there is four on each side that go almost to the center i'd say about here one two three and four there we go not too bad up next we have the windows so to do those i think i'm gonna just bring in a new cube scale it way down and these are rounded sort of rounded rectangles let's scale it down we're gonna bring it in not on the mirror modifier and then we'll mirror it afterwards i think that makes the most sense we need to keep a little bit of an angle on here so we can still see everything and it looks like they're a little bit rectangular so we're going to stretch this on the z-axis just a little put it about right here a little under the door there we go we'll bring this back move this face in and then delete it now we grab all of our edges over here 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 and here and add a bevel something like that is actually looking pretty fire to me and then inset and extrude inwards and that is the back and possibly front of the train like we could probably just duplicate everything so it might also be smart to add a loop cut in the middle here wireframe delete all of these faces and then oh yeah we're gonna have to uh kind of drag this this <laughs> clipping off for a moment now clipping back on there we go and now as you can see we have the same thing on both sides and we only have to edit this corner of the train to make anything happen along the whole thing so even putting windows over here we should be pretty all right we need like three in the middle so this will be one two oh it's gonna do it like that okay so we need to actually do it like this and then d something like this is uh is pretty decent i think i can delete this this little line but i might keep it we're gonna see let's get the rest of these windows placed and then we can go ahead and make some changes or put the doors on and stuff like that i think this window here and then they have a thinner window over here it's not longer it's just thinner so we're gonna go into wireframe and grab this half scale it in yeah this one goes next to it the moment we have all been waiting for and by all i mean me and by waiting for i mean hopefully this goes good Good, because most of the time when I import a bigger asset, well, things don't exactly go to plan. So let's go ahead and apply all and it's going to drag in all of the meshes that we just made in Blender. And uh, so far, so good. We're not getting any air files or no vertice founds. I'm just really hoping that all uh, everything's OK. Boom, boom. Import with location. Uh oh. All right. 
right, yeah, it looks pretty decent. Let's group all of that together, put it over on the train station. I'm gonna grab colors and materials on everything, but I will skip that part as it probably will not be super entertaining to you guys. Let's, um, I kind of wanna, oh, wow. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that uh, needs to be a little smaller, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I thought this was gonna look a lot better. I think I'll take the wheels off and drop it down and that already makes it look a little bit better um it, it needs some work but i don't overly know a better way to do it for today so i think i think that'll be okay for today i will be making a new train for this or getting one made if i can't do better but at this exact moment this is what we got so our train yard is at least for now uh completed i think <laughs> that isn't gonna wrap up today's video if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later